wants to know the idea of in a piece of music they say in say that you're in the key of C let's all start in C it's a pretty easy key to understand at the end here's the notes in C C the E F G A B and then the octave C if I were to write this out as the actual chords if I were to harmonize it in the key signature my C would be minor my D would be major E would be oh sorry What's wrong, what's wrong with me? C would be major, duh. D would be minor. E would be minor. F would be major. G would be major. A would be minor. B would be diminished. And then C would be major. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's play this, okay? C major. D minor. E minor. F major. Okay, that's a big M. F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and then C major. Now, how all that works here is that the way that that, that the reason why that is is because if, if I take the root three and five of every um, note here within my scale, that's how they all line up. So, what's a root three five? Let's build this up. C, E, G. Okay, let's not worry about the key, the key signature. Okay, let's build everything up. Root 3, 5. A, B, and then C. Okay? Alright, so now the way that this works here, okay, is here's my, these three notes creates my C major chord. These three notes create my D major chord, but I'm staying with I'm staying with uh, within the key, right? Everyone kind of get that? Can everyone see that? Or no? Yo, what's up, Signal? Okay, so here we have C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, uh, A minor, B diminished, and C major. The reason why this is B diminished and, and not B minor because look at the notes, okay? The three, the three notes here are B, right, D, and F. Well, I know that my B major chord is B, D sharp, or, I'm sorry, is B, D sharp, F sharp, okay? So to continue this, okay, so to continue this right here, okay, we, have, we know that our D is flattened and our F is flattened here. The F sharp goes to F natural, the D sharp goes to D natural. Well, if I here have root flat 3, flat 5, which I do, see the, the fifth is flattened and the third's flattened, here we have root flat 3, flat 5. To continue this, we know that a root flat 3, flat 5 in a key signature or in a chord or whatever is diminished. So check it out. No matter what key I'm in, if I change to the key of, uh, oh wow, yo, that was an awesome catch. This is a very dirty eraser, and I, I almost got a, a black marker patch on my shirt. That was total epic. All right, so let's do this over here. Here we have, um, let's go to like the key of, uh, I don't know, let's go to the key of B, okay? B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. If I were to play this, these the reason why these are harmonized, one major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven diminished, and eight major again, is because I'm saying everything within the key. It's a tra it's it's um it's a pattern, okay? No matter what key you're in, it's always gonna be the same exact concept. This will always be major. The second will always be minor, third will always be minor, fourth is major, fifth is major, sixth will always be minor, seventh will always be diminished, that's the circle, and of course this is major because you're back at your octave there. So that's how the notes are harmonized in a key signature, and that's why your chord functions look the way they do. That's why your fourth chord in any key signature for the rest of your life, when it's diatonic to that key, will always be major. Because when you build up these notes, E, G sharp B in the key of B, okay, the, the three notes, root, three, five, there we have it, 
Okay? E, don't 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 worry about this bottom note here. This bottom this bottom's nothing. But these three notes, E, G sharp, B, that's my E major chord. Root three five, okay, here, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, that's an F sharp major chord. And it will always, always be be like that. So if you don't know, then now you know. How to tell some of my bad band friends. Oh, have to tell. Oh, dude, Matt, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, okay, uh, what kind of scales did Jimi Hendrix use during tunings? That's a good question. We'll answer that in a minute. Uh, minor pentatonic a lot. What about semitones? What about se semitones? If you wanted to do semitones in a key signature like this, then you're actually taking it outside of the key signature. So if I go B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F natural, then F sharp, the F natural obviously isn't in this key. I'm taking it outside of that key before I throw it inside, okay, or before I continue back into the key. It's just referred to as an out note, just like anything. Uh, music is a lot more than this, but that uh, it's pretty much just a series of tension and release. So when you understand tension and release in music, how to create emotion and feeling in it, uh, you'll see that playing outside of the key signature is actually a very, very, very effective thing to do. Um, not saying you always have to do it. There's time when to do it. There's time not. But uh, so, th so that's the idea there. So if you're creating a song in a specific key, like say B, you couldn't technically use a C major. You could use C major if that's the sound you want to go on. But listen, if I'm playing this chord right here, this B major chord, and you're playing your C major scale, it's going to sound like this. Okay? It's not going to sound that good. But now what if I play this? Okay? It works a lot better. But listen, don't learn from me. Learn from yourself and uh, trying out new things. That's how you get it, guys. So, hey, write a song in the key of B and play a C major scale over top of it. Will it work? Sometimes. Most of the times it won't. But you only know from doing. Uh, also, is it going to be any different if you're playing bar chords on guitar instead of open? Nope, it is absolutely the same. Whether I'm playing my whether I'm playing my B chord or my B scale here, or up here, or up here, or maybe if I if if I break it apart like this, um, you know. Oh wait, no wait, that's suspended. That's not right. Oh sorry. Okay, like that. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's all the same. You only need three notes to make a chord. Root three five, and when you build that root three five up on every key, in its in its respective uh, key signature that it's in, then that's when you get major minor minor major major minor diminished major. One two three four five six seven, and then eight. Seven. Remember what I said yesterday in the modes. My seventh mode. Is diminished and it sounds and, 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 and it has that quasi sound to it. Well, check it out. My seventh chord in the major scale is diminished too. Okay, so you start to see how it's all related. It's pretty cool. Once you learn it.